This is exactly why the reason why I love clear textures and dichroic. Clear textures all by themselves and dichroic. Both of them just incredibly powerful. This is a Sunday afternoon. It's the same day the Eagles are playing right now behind me and well on the TV that is. Look how this door is just lighting up. The sun is just illuminating the clear textures. The clear at the top is called crocodile or croco. And then the big the, the two big waves coming in looking like little lightning bolts. That's thin reed. That's really cool what happens when light hits thin reed. You'd think it would go down the channels, but it goes exactly perpendicular, exactly across it. This window is 100% clear textures, and the only color that's in there is all dichroic elements that I make, that I laminate myself here at my shop. Dichroic bevels, different shapes. The starting at the triangle, there's seven. It could be the seven chakras. These, these two sets of three at the bottom, that's croco as well. Those are my hands. It's a spiritual design that I've created. I have a lot of Egyptian resonance behind me, hence the pyramid behind. So those are my hands and my contribution to universal ideas. And the two things on either side, the left and the right there, that are symmetrical just the standards my contribution to the to the universe with two standards I don't know it's all a, it's all an idea anyway but look at those clear textures sometimes it can be absolutely blinding and depending on what angle you're standing on these clear textures are throwing off lots of rainbows any glass that has a texture whether it be a ripple a flute a line has the ability to bend light to create a rainbow. Most people don't realize that. It doesn't have to be a bevel. The unique thing about a bevel is you're going to get the full spectrum of light because it's a polished edge breaking white light down to Roy G. Biv, red, orange, yellow, you know, so on, what we learned in school. But any texture, whether it be the crocodile up here at the top, as long as it has, bends light in some sort of way, it can throw rainbow. It won't throw the full spectrum, but it can throw rainbow. So I'll get a close-up on this, give you an idea of the dichroic jewels and bevels and the intensity of the light coming through. And you can see what flute does. Flute causes light to go down the channels, but not thin reed. This right here is called thin reed. Thin reed, the light, instead of it going this way, will go absolutely perpendicular. And it's awesome and you can see where the lights traveling down the lines in flute this is called croco crocodile thin reed flute this is called figure C this is called cube these are dichroic jewels that I make that's thin reed this is called matrix these two uh, guys right here this is called spotlight you can see the little headlight looking deals and on certain times of the day they incredibly illuminate like little teeny little headlights. This is a front door in my shop. You can see the cars currently going by in downtown Asheville. This is a panel that I do. I would make a shorter one right about what you see here in the viewfinder. I make a smaller panel and I charge a thousand dollars for that. Just to give you an idea of relevance, Dichroic in its own industry I've heard it's worth as much as twelve dollars an inch. That's a six inch circle there at the top. And at $12 an inch, I don't know how many inches are in a six inch circle, but it's enough to where that little circle right there, well, that six inch circle is worth a two or three hundred dollars. That's what it's worth. I'm not saying that's what I'm getting here. This panel here, I'm charging two thousand, actually twenty-two fifty for this whole door. Framed in oak, and I'll ship it anywhere in America, and the shipping will cost roughly a hundred hundred and fifty dollars you're not going to be able to buy not only can you not buy this in America anywhere in America because nobody makes dichroic bevels but odds are good you're not going to find anybody who could make this panel 
It's all copper foil. There's no reinforcement. It defies a lot of the laws. It's structurally designed well in order to, to create its own strength. So, and here's another dichroic featured panel. And this is the center to the flower of life. All done in dichroic elements. Any color you see in this window is dichroic. And here's another panel. This is called the center to the seed of life, featuring dichroic bevels in it as well. It's been featured on another video that I have earlier. This panel is stunning in the light. So, anyway, see you in the next video.